Oh, never oh. mind. I haven't got your iPod headphones. Yes, you do. No, yes, I you don't. Do. Living with teenagers can be irritating and there are all sorts of things that teenagers can do um, that feel difficult uh, to live with. So, for example, very loud music or staying in the bathroom far too long. They do lose their tempers. They throw things around the house if they get annoyed. Summer and go horrible. <laughs> they turn into the fettered teenager where all they want to do is eat, sleep and grunt. There is a lot of tension because their minds start to wander because their priorities are changing. They want to spend time with their friends. They want to, you know, they want to, they're not very active, sleep in a bit later, you know. A lot of handling teenage issues is about actually the parent uh, getting into a different place. Uh, you know, for years when you have kids, you tell them what to do. But telling is not necessarily a great technique when your children hit their teenage years. You tell, they resent you. A lot of people can lose their temper, the children can lose their temper, say things they don't mean, they can swear, they can shout, they can scream and chuck things around. And it's about being very clear that those sort of behaviours are not acceptable in your house. That's not how to behave in the real world outside, so you won't accept it in your own house. And it's about actually helping them work through those emotions and look at what they're maybe angry underneath about. Oh, yeah. That's not fair. Tough. Just get out. No. Just get out. Right, just come on, you come out. She needs to go out. Come on, Alice, in you go. Right. You always take your side. It's often nothing to do with the parents. It's what's going on inside them. They may be angry with themselves and they're expressing that. So one important thing parents can do is really to try and step back, say, this isn't to do with me. This is to do with what's going on inside the young person. What my parents told me I had to do, I did. And actually children have freedom and it's good to have freedom, but some have too much and then they get into the wrong crowd or maybe allowed to stay out later than maybe they should do for their age. Actually parents don't often think about what they want their kids to do specifically. So I often get parents to write down what jobs that they would like their kids to do or sit around the table and get the kids say, look, we're a team here. The house needs to run efficiently. You're old enough to help me. I expect you to help me. And write down some simple things. So it could be, you know, do the washing up or do the drying up or empty the dishwasher or put the bins out. And then don't forget, you know, a smile and a, a positive praise or a bit of a pat on the back. It's all part of, you know, the give and take of it. So reward them with a smile and say thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. It's always about finding that balance. Noticing what's working and do more of it and noticing what isn't working and knocking that out. I know if you, you will behave like uh, you are a, a mother or a parent, uh, it's strict, strict. You, ha you have to give order, they have to follow. I don't think they will listen to you. You have to be friend with them. So I was always a friend for my children. I think that's the biggest conflict, is, is trying to uh, still guide them in the right direction and make them understand that actually, look, if you are going to make your way through life, you know, there are things you have to do and ways to behave. If you start listening to them, sometimes just the actual act of feeling heard helps teenagers feel understood. And actually it's a wonderful time because they're developing in all sorts of areas and you can really enjoy your teenage children.